Windows 10 comes up with lots of features. Most of them are useful. However, there are some just lying there. In this video, you will know 10 unnecessary features that you can disable in Windows 10. A regular Windows user doesn't use these features, so it is better to disable them and make your Windows 10 a little lighter. Before we start this guide, press the like button in case you forget later. To disable features on Windows 10, click on Start menu and then type Control Panel. Now click on it. Then click on Programs. Click on Turn Windows Features On or Off. Now go through the whole video and decide which feature to remove. Internet Explorer 11. Microsoft has completely moved to the edge and stopped sending updates to Internet Explorer via Windows Update. If you are still using it and want to update, you need to download the updates manually. I would say why bother? Just disable it and start using the edge. That is much better than Internet Explorer. Let's thank our sponsor Malwarefox for this video. Malwarefox gets rid of hidden malware from your computer. It is a simple yet effective anti malware software providing protection against adware. spyware, ransomware, keyloggers, and all modern cyber threats. Check the description below to download for free. Legacy components. Direct Play was used in the Windows Live games a long way back. It is an API of DirectX API which is no longer being used in modern games, so you can also disable this feature. Windows Media Player. I don't use Windows Media Player much nowadays. There are some third party media players that I use, so I am going to disable it. If you are still using Windows Media Player, there is no need to disable it. Microsoft Print to PDF Microsoft Print to PDF is a virtual printer that allows you to print documents in PDF. If you use Microsoft Office, there is an inbuilt Save as PDF feature, so you don't need this one, and you can disable it. This feature is quite useful for me as I have to print a lot of documents in PDF from the browser, so I am not going to disable it. Microsoft XPS Document Writer Microsoft introduced XPF to replace the need for PDF files. It is similar to the PDF files, however, not that much popular. People rarely use them. XPS Document Writer feature allows you to print XPS files. If you don't use them, you can disable this feature. Internet Printing Client. If you expand the Print and Document section, you will see a bunch of features, in which the Internet Printing Client is for printing the documents over the Internet or LAN. If you have an online printer or a printer in your LAN, don't disable it. However, if your printer is attached to your computer, this feature is useless, so you can disable it. Remote Differential Compression API Support. This feature is used to manage the servers and accessing computers remotely, especially with the remote desktop connection. If you don't have to manage servers and connect to PCs remotely using RDC, you can disable it. Windows PowerShell 2.0 Windows PowerShell 2.0 isn't the latest version of PowerShell, and the newest version is 7. It is unclear why the 2.0 version is still there, so you can disable this feature. Windows Process Activation Service. This feature allows users to run a home based server on their computer. It is useful for when you build web projects and apps. It lets you preview these projects on your computer. If you are a regular user who doesn't build web projects, then this feature is useless. You can disable it. Work Folder Clients. This feature is useful when you access files and folders from other computers on your network. If you use a single computer on your home and don't require access to folders over the network, you can disable it. Now click on OK, and Windows will take some time to uninstall these features from your computer. You don't have to disable all these features. If you need them, then simply don't disable. If you think that you might need them in the future, don't worry, you can enable them just like you have disabled them. Visit the Turn Windows features on or off. And tick the feature that you need and click OK. That's it for this video. If you face any issue or have a query, comment down below and we will try to come up with a solution as soon as possible. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. 
Don't forget to press the bell button to receive alerts for videos on Windows 10 tips and tricks.